This video has been brought to you by your local SPAG distributor. Tank Management Services, your compliance headquarters. Welcome to Talking Tanks. How many UST operators still use this type of tank gauge? UST operators have been sticking tanks for almost as long as there has been USTs. So today we'll demonstrate how to stick a tank. They did it at first to see if the tank had anything in it, then to see how much. As time went by, they made larger measuring sticks marked in inches. Now the stick has to be marked in eighths of an inch so it can be more accurate in gauging how much fuel is left in the tank. Today's stick is usually a foot or more longer than the diameter and the extended drop tube. The stick is only half of the process. The other part is a tank chart. Each eighth of an inch coincides with the gallon amount in the tank. The chart is based on the diameter and length of a tank. There are a few other things you will need when you stick a tank besides the stick and tank chart. Gloves that will keep your product from coming in contact with your skin. Clipboard with a worksheet. A piece of heavy plastic to protect the paperwork in the rain and snow. A canister of talcum or baby powder. A tube of water identifying paste. A sharp pencil and a flat edge screwdriver. If it is dark outside, you will need a flashlight. Putting powder on the stick in the area the tank should have product will help pinpoint the depth of the product. Putting the water paste at the bottom of the stick will help find out how much water may be in the tank. This does not have to be done every day, but monthly or weekly is recommended. Lift the stick so one inch is at the bottom and slide it down the side of the drop tube. You need to do it the same place and same way each time to ensure the stick is consistent. When the stick hits the bottom, wait a second or two, then slowly pull it up. The powder should be gone where there was product showing where it stopped. Always write down the inches and one eighths, then find the measurement on the tank chart. I hope this was helpful. Tank Management Services has a link to the EPA's document on doing inventory control correctly on their website. Go to tankmanagement.net. Click on SIR on the left side of the page. The link is in the toolbar just to the right of my fuel tank login link.